Due to heavy rainfall and an increase in water inflow, a dam has collapsed at the Kielimskoy Reservoir in Russia's Chelyabinsk region, the Ministry of Emergency Situations reported on Friday. Residents in nearby villages have been urged to evacuate. The press service of the regional governor has confirmed the news about the dam collapsing. The district's operational headquarters called on residents of villages located in the flood zone, Kyalim, Mukamatovo, Karasayevo, Betashevo, Saktivo, to be prepared to evacuate. Residents have been advised to stock up water as water supplies in the Karabash district might be shut down due to the incident. A state of emergency has been declared in the district. Employees of the Ministry of Emergency Situations, Public Utilities and other departments are working on site of the incident. Rescue work is underway to eliminate the consequences of the destruction of the dam. It should be noted that the Ministry of Emergency Situations of the Chelyabinsk region issued a storm warning on June 22. Heavy downpours continued in the region in the following days. The ministry warned that water levels were expected to rise in areas of heavy rainfall on July 25 to 28. Chinese state media reports Typhoon Gami has made landfall in China's southeastern Fujian province after crossing Taiwan and sending heavy rains into the Philippines that sank at least one ship and left more than 20 dead. China's CCTV news channel reported that Gami made landfall in Fujian province and is expected to unleash heavy rains over much of China as it heads to the northwest. State news agency Xinhua reported Chinese officials said they had evacuated more than 150,000 people in the province ahead of the storm. Authorities evacuated nearly 300,000 people and suspended public transport across eastern China. Officials in Taiwan said businesses and schools were closed across much of northern Taiwan for a second day Thursday after Gami, the strongest storm to hit the island in eight years, swept through, flooding streets, knocking out power and leaving three people dead and hundreds injured. Video posted on social media showed streets in the capital turned into rivers, with shops flooded and water reaching over the wheels of parked cars. Taiwan's meteorological office said several areas of the island received more than 100 centimeters of rainfall between Wednesday night and midday Thursday. China is enduring a summer of extreme weather, with heavy rains across the east and south coming as much of the north has sweltered under successive heat waves. They have relocated more than 290,000 people in Fujian and shut down public transport, offices, schools and markets in some cities. <laughs>